Hi everyone, welcome to Cover Creations. My name is Gareth, this is my little corner of the internet for playing with my food. Today I'm doing a nice stew. This one's going to be a little bit different, We're bringing in a bit of spice from Persia into this, just to give it a nice delicate kind of level of spice that just warms the soul. So this is my Persian lamb stew and we're going to start straight away. Nice and easy as with any stew. First thing we want, onions and garlics. You want one large onion. And when I say large, I mean large. I could play football with this thing. And we're just going to chop that up really roughly. So, let's give it a go. So there we go, super rough. I just want nice big chunks of onion in here. Because we want that little bite to it once the stew's done. Put that aside and then you want two cloves of garlic. We're going to chop these up fairly small because we want them to kind of permeate the entire dish. So there we go. That's me onions and garlic done. Now we're just going to go straight over to the hob and start getting cooking. Okay, so now what we're going to do is sweat off those onions. So we're just going to put a good tablespoon or two of olive oil in there. Get it on a low heat. Then we're going to chuck our onions in. Like so. So, we just want to sweat those down, say for about eight minutes, on a really low heat. You can whack the lid on. Don't have a flame proof casserole dish. You can do this just in a saucepan. I'm going to cook it on the hob for the start and then we're going into the oven later on. But the entire thing can be done in a saucepan on the hob if you need. Or just like I say do the start bits in a saucepan, pour it into a normal oven proof dish with a lid and then whack it in the oven. So we'll let those go for eight minutes and catch in a bit. Okay. Yeah, onions are looking great now. So they're never going to get like super, super soft because you've been using quite large chunks, but we don't want that. We still want a little bit of bite in the final stew. So a good eight minutes there, it's perfect. And now we're just going to chuck in our garlic, like so. And just let that again sweat down now for about three minutes. Just soften that garlic slightly. So lid on, give it three, and then we can start adding in all those beautiful spices. All right, so that's had a little bit of extra time in there, just to sweat that garlic a little bit, it's softened now. So now we can add in some of these beautiful spices, and they're gonna be quite delicate. I'm not gonna put a huge amount in, considering the amount of veg and meat that's going in there. But you want a teaspoon of cumin, ground cumin, like so just adds that really nice warmth to it. And we're gonna pet that warmth up a bit with some ground ginger. And do the same, keeping this simple, teaspoon of ground ginger. And then last but not least, on this bit, cinnamon. And that just brings in a lot of those kind of slight flavors of Morocco, or the you know, Middle East, it's got a lovely, lovely flavor to it. So same again, teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're going to just stir that around and with the oil it's going to create like a paste almost on the bottom and that just helps it stick to the meat. So we just give that a stir, it won't move long, the minute you start smelling all those fragrances that's when you're ready to go. So there we go, you're getting that paste and that's perfect, it smells really hitting me now. So now we can just add the meat in. We've got 500 grams of diced lamb shoulder here. Just going to pop that in. We're going to brown that off. So you might want to turn it up a little bit until you just get a nice kind of brown crust on the meat. That's perfect. Don't worry if you've got some little crispy bits on the bottom. We'll add in some stock and stuff to this, which will just bring all that up. It just adds a load of extra flavour. So we can turn that off now. Just let it sit there and turn our attention to the veg. I'm going to keep it really simple here. 
just wants two medium potatoes. I've got some really small ones here, so I'm just do one medium and two small ones. Parsnip and two carrots. So very simply, we're just gonna give them all a bit of a going over with the peeler. And we just want to chop them into again quite rough bits. So looking sort of like one inch cubes, maybe slightly bigger. It's got good decent sized lumps. This is a stew off rule. So that's my potato done. Now for the parsnip. Absolutely love parsnips of these. So we're just going to do exactly the same. Give it a peel and chop it into decent bits. Now lastly, carrots. Again, still sweet, but really holds spice very, very well. A lot of these veg are very kind of, what I say, British classic, you know, meat and seed veg type stuff. But you'd be surprised how well they work with really nice spiced meals. Right, so that's all my veg there, all ready to go in. Just gonna put that to the side. Grab ourselves another board. This is the last thing we're gonna need to chop up for this. I'm gonna use preserved lemons. Now, they have, I wouldn't say they are quite strong, but they're not overpowering. They give a really nice kind of subtle flavor to this. So. I'm going to use two preserved lemons. Now, if you can't get them, and they are available in almost all the supermarkets, but if you can't get them, just the juice of a lemon and the grated zest of a whole one will work just as well. These just bring like a little bit of an extra punch to it. So we're just going to chop those up, in case you have gone, in the quarters, and then halve each of those quarters. So we've got these little nuggets of preserved lemon. And then we go through the problem with these, which is they're always really, really full of stones. So give them all a check, <laughs> really good check before you put them in. Last thing you want is the picks in there. There we go. One last study. Make sure we get them all. Oh, I missed one. That was close. Perfect. Right, that's all we need to do over here. So we just head straight back to the hob and get cracking. Right, so we just turn that back on again. It's just come up so you can hear it's kind of slightly starting to simmer again. Now we just want to add in a few extra ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to use here, which is totally optional, um, because it adds a bit of heat, but it adds a beautiful flavour, is this Rose Harissa, which you can get now in any supermarket. If you're cold and you want a bit of heat, add a little bit of dried chilli in, will work well. But this stuff just brings in so much more of that kind of Persian rose type flavour. Really subtle, but works beautifully with the lamb. So we're just going to put in a good teaspoon of that. And then some saffron. Very important this one. It's just, again, brings that Persian flavour in. So just going to put in a good pinch of saffron, if I can get my fingers into it. So yeah, decent pinch. Don't want to overdo it, because it can be quite irony, and will kind of wash out everything else. But that, with that preserved lemons and harissa, just match made in heaven. I'll put that there. So, what's next? Now, just time throw in our veg and our lemons go in there as well perfect that's it this is so so easy so stock I'm using 500 ml of chicken stock we're just going to pour that in again we don't want to use too much because the flavour of the lamb, lamb is one of those great meats that kind of 
really infuses anything and we want that flavour. And then we're going to give that a bit of a stir around. And then we're just going to top it up with water. Except for that water's really, really hot. Just going to top it up until it covers the veg. There you go. It's a good, another five, seven hundred mil. So there we go. All nicely covered. Some of that harissa oil kind of just sits on the top. And you can almost feel it already. This is going to be slightly different to your standard lamb stew. Okay, so that's there, almost ready to go. Just a little bit of seasoning. So you always want to add in a good, good pinch of salt. Right in there. And a couple of turns of black pepper. Just brings everything alive. Okay, give that a stir around. That's it, lid on. And then we can leave that on the hob for two hours, just bubbling away. Or once it's come up to a simmer, which it has, perfect. We can whack it in the oven. That's the way I'm going to do it. So I've got my oven preheated to 160 degrees. And we're just going to pop that in there and leave it in there for two hours. By the time that's finished, your, the smells in your kitchen will be amazing. And you've got a perfectly done stew. Remember to turn the hob off. But that's it. Just going to leave that in there, cooking away, and I'll see you in about two hours' time. Cheers. Hi, right, back again. So that's my two hours up. Let's have a look and see what we got. Oh, that's hot. And that's heavy. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Right amount of liquid in there. If at this point you feel that it's a little bit dry, just pour in a little bit of boiling water until you've got that consistency you want. All the flavours in there, all you're going to do is just give it that perfect stew consistency that you're after. So there we go, it's exactly what we're after. That beautiful broth, all those veggies and that spice is so kind of heady, it's so, it's, it's mild yet it's strong at the same time, it's fabulous. So now we got to do, ladle yourself up, really nice bowl full. So there we go, last thing, we're just going to put on a little bit of parsley, just to make it look, just that little bit more special. So that's it, delicate, lightly spiced. And that's my Persian lamb stew, I hope you give it a go, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.